Welcome to Arizona Gardening with Robin Sherry. Crikey! <laughs> so today, guys, is a big day. This area in the corner of our house is going to become a up above ground uh, garden. That's right. So down here, we're doing a three by ten garden, and so the first thing we're going to do is kind of level this out. We're going to do a time lapse. So you can kind of see us building it all day. And uh, the parts that we're using are all from Home Depot. We're using blocks and 2x12s. And uh, uh, hopefully you'll enjoy how we put this together. And uh, we're pretty excited. Later on we'll show you how I'm going to bring water to it. And uh, oh, we've got an old airplane flying over. But, Anyway, we get a lot of uh, very old airplanes that fly out of here out of Falcon Field. So anyway, uh, let's get the project started. So this is the material we'll be using. All these bricks are what we're going to be using for our spacers. We're going 24 inches high, so they'll be stacked uh, four high. And then we're going to use rebar bar <laughs> in the center to hold them in place. And we had all of our wood pre-cut at Home Depot, and uh, we're doing things five by three. So it'll be five foot a block, another five foot a block. The width is going to be three feet wide. So we got to get all this past my boat and uh, start getting the ground ready. So got lots to do today, so, and it's hot. So here we go, and don't forget, I'm going to do a time lapse of this. Okay guys, so we got the box done. You saw the time lapse. And uh, if you probably noticed at the end of the time lapse, we put empty containers inside the box. So uh, if you see, and all that's for is uh, the fill up space so we don't have to buy so much dirt. So we're, we're gonna buy kind of a low grade dirt for the first maybe 12 inches. Then we're gonna go with a higher grade then we're gonna go with a coconut core, core and uh, and then worm castings. And the coconut core is, core is kind of like a what do you call that stuff? Peat moss. It helps you yeah, uh, maintain the water and stuff. So unfortunately, these are really deep, so we got a lot of dirt. So it's gonna cost a little bit of money. We guesstimated probably around 200 bucks to fill these up. So now you can see why we put some spacers in there. So uh, yeah, we'll go around the house, make sure we don't have any more empty containers that have to be all plastic. And uh, we'll bury them in there and the, already we probably saved us one bag of dirt. So 
it's getting there and then uh, after we get this all filled up the next is uh, we can plant but eventually I got to put a water system and we'll tie it into the garden over there so yeah come along pretty good but we're tired and I want to remind you guys it's a 95 degrees here in Arizona so you probably notice uh, I'll cut it out a little bit but we had to take a lot of breaks because it's the heat is really hard on old people like us so uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed that so yeah garden boxes are done hey thank you for watching part one of Robin Sherry gardening and building a new box part two will be filling the boxes and show you how we did it please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the world we'd appreciate it have a good day